Hello, dear traders. My name is Alina. I'm a financial advisor at A Markets. Today, I would like to share trading ideas for the current week. Oil price soared at the market opening on Monday. Brent crude oil showed the largest increase in the day after the Gulf War in 1991. The reason for this were the massive uh, drone attacks on the largest oil processing facility in Saudi Arabia, which knocked out more than 5% of the world's oil res uh, reserves. Despite this, uh, Saudi Arabia's exports will continue as normal this week as uh, the kingdom used its large storage facilities. United States President Donald Trump approved the allocation of oil from countries uh, reserve if need to stabilize the situation in the oil market after attacks. In connection with the attack on Saudi Arabia, which could have an uh, impact on oil prices, I have uh, authorized the release of the oil from the strategic of uh, uh, reserve if necessary in amount sufficient to provide good market, Trump tweeted. So, uh, we also informed all relevant agencies of the uh, accelerated approval of uh, oil pipeline project which are now is in uh, the process of uh, obtaining permits in Texas and other states. At the current Asian session, uh, Brent crude oil has closed uh, part of the gap uh, and adjust to the level of 23.6% FIBA, 66.10$. Then a Dodge reversal candle formed on the early chart. It's uh, likely that the price will not adjust below the range of 23.6%, 38.2%. FIBA against uh, the backdrop of extremely strong fundamental factors. We recommend buying brand on the rebounds from uh, level 66.10 and 64.80. We also recommend shorting uh, ODUSD. The pre uh, price has formed reversal uh, candle on the daily chart last week, but due to the support uh, of the 50-day moving average, we couldn't confirm that signal for sale. Then the pair test the 50% FIBA level and bonds down from it. If ODUSD break this 38.2% uh, FIBA level at uh, 0 0.6850 and falls below the EMA 50, sell ODUSD. Profit target is located at 0 0.68 mark. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel A Markets Global and follow the main news from the financial markets.